a kowace rana bakin abubuwa da suke faruwa a wannan duniyar na ta'addanci hatsarce hatsarce rigin gimu rashin zaman lafiya tashin hankali hatsaniya suna ƙara gaskata shar'ar musulunci suna ƙara tabbatar da cewa addinin musulunci addini ne da zo da domin kiyaye jini kiyaye hankali kiyaye rai kiyaye mutunci kiyaye dukiya addinin musulunci bai zo domin banna ko ta'addanci ba sabanin abin da makiya addinin suke fadi addinin musulunci ya zo ne domin kiyaye haƙin dan adam babu wani mai rajin kara haƙin dan adam wanda ya kai addinin musulunci ba wa dan adam haƙin sa giya ita ce tushen kowane laifi kamar da aka sanfanta ta cewa giya ita ce tushen kowace irin banna masana larabci na cewa an kira giya da khamru alarabci in an ce alkhamru alarabci daga wato sai ce alkhamru ma khamara alaqal giya shine duk abin da ya rufe hankali khamara shi'a idha satarahu wato rufe abuke an kira giya khamru khamru saboda tana rufe hankalin mutum ta sai abin da ba daidai ba sai daga basani ya dawo cikin hayyacin sa wani abu mara dadi da ya faru a jihar Lagos a ranar Kirsimeti wanda ya ji hankalin duniya sosai kuma ya fadda kace nace har ta bai ga gwamnatin jihar Lagos dan takar shugaban kasa Alhaji Atiku Abubakar da ainihin IG duka sun aika da sakon Allah wadai game da faruwa abun wani jami'in dan sanda wanda aka zargi cewa ya sha giya ne in ya tabbata cewa ba kokari ake a kawar da abun zuwa ga wani abu ba ya harbe wata lauya mai tsohon ciki lokacin da take da daga coci tare da mai gidanta da ƴan uwanta da ƴan uwan mijinta a cikin mota wannan baiwar Allah da haka shi sunanta Omo Balalle kuma kaban da muka ambata lauya ce hakan ce ta sa hukumar lauyoyi dandananta gar zai shigar da kara tana mai neman abiwa wannan baiwar Allah hakinta jaridunmu da cikin gida su roto labari irin su The Cable irin su Daily Trust irin su The Times duka su roto wannan labari suna ba da bayanin yanda abin ya faru filla filla ba dan takaice muku ma'anar abin da ya faru a cikin wannan shirye yanzu nan insha Allah ta'ala a da farko kamar yanda aka zanta TBC News suka zanta da ainihin yar uwar wannan mata ta ba da labarin cewa abin ya faru ne a daidai lokacin da suke dawo daga coci kuma suna cikin tafiya shi jami'in dan sanda din ya nemi da su tsaya ya nemi su tsaya yana cewa su tsaya su tsaya sun yi kokarin tsaya din amma kafin su ankara kawo sai jin harbi sakai tace bata san daga ina harbin yake ba kawo ita dai taji kara amma bata san daga ina harbin yake ba sai je ta yarwata tana cewa bindiga a kirji na bindiga a kirji na the guy was not in our front my sister was sitting and the husband was driving i was sitting at the back of my my elder sister barista bolanle and my children four children were there and with our own daughter so immediately she just said ah benga the gun I've entered my chest. Benga, the gun I've entered my chest. Immediately she just dropped. Haka zalika anta tonada mojo wana lawya inda shima ya wada labarin abundi ya faru uti king banta usayi. Ache wada sa wana jami ya nsanda ya nsanda ya ni muda susaya. Ya ni muda susaya. Basa ankara baka badi enda kwa wata tapada sese kaji haribi. Echi sega jini jena atakwa rara na gazi kiuma tasa ya uwari ya jii ya zaida jina. Yaru uwasa taji tata nkarishi wana nsanda inda itamaya kama duka nta da bindigar da ke hannun sa to fanan dai abuwa suka faru aka zo da ita wannan mata ta sa aka tafi da ita asibiti sai dai asibitin da suka je sun kiyadda su karbe ta inda suka garaje suka tafi wani asibitin to a can ne Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yayi mata rasuwa ba shakka wannan abu abu ne ba mai dadi ba a ko ina ya faru abu ne da akwai tausayi a matsayin ka na dan adam to hankalin al'umma ya tashi sosai hukumomi suna ta magana a halin da ake ciki yanzu jami'an yan sandan jihar Lagos sun kama wannan mutum tare da wannan mutumin wanda mataimakin wato sifetin yan sanda ne a kan kisan wannan lauya mai suna Omo Balale Rahim sai dai daga basani kakakin rundunar yan sandan jihar Benjamin Hundain ya tabbatar da cewa ainihin wato an saki mutum biyu daga cikin wadannan mutane saboda ta tabbata ba su da wani laifi kawai dai an yi abin a gaban su ne an tambaye su ne an kama su ne domin su bada hujja akan abin da suka gani a halin da ake cikin zuwa wannan mataimakin sifetin yan sanda ko supertanda shi ne yake a hannu domin shi ne harbin da haka shi ne wanda yake jiran hukunci al'umomi suna ta kira da yi adalci har da wata hukuma ta mata ta jihar Lagos ta yi kira da ai adalci ga wanda mata mai suna Omo Bebelele a gaggauta yin hukunci akan wannan mutum dan sanda da ya mata ta'addanci haka kuma ma an gabatar da wakarar wannan abu a majalisar wakilai inda aka tattauna game da batun 
ya majalisu sun cimma matsaya akan suna nema da wato a hana yan sandashen barasa wannan shine muhimmin abin da yasa zai magana akan wannan batu na abin da akai na kisan gilla abin da mai muhimmanci a tattauna to amma abin da ya janyo akai kisan shi ya kamata a tattauna akai domin a kawo ƙarshen matsalolin ya zaman ji cewa majalisa an bujiro da kudurin hana yan sanda shengiya kwata kwata jaridar jali trust ta wallafa cewa majalisar wakile ta nemi da a hana yan sanda shengiya da sauran kayayyakin maye domin a kiyaye tunanin su daga kurba cewa a wannan kudiri da aka gudanar a majalisa ya samu shiga yan majalisu sun amince da wannan doka to yan uwa Allah ya muku rahama dama wannan abin shine abin da ya kamata tun farko ai kuma daga nan zamu ƙara jinjina ga gwamnatin jihar Kano da hukumar Hizba bisa kokarin da take na kama giya ta faffasa su mota mota wannan alhamdulillah ni'ima ce daga cikin ni'imomi da Allah ya al'umar jihar Kano to kaga tun da haka ne ana iya shan giya ai kisan kai a shagiya ai ta'addanci ai fadi ai duk abuwa na rashin kyautawa ya kamata gwamnatin tarayya da kanta ta dauki mataki akan giya duk da yake na san ba abu ne mai sauki ba tunda abun ta kaici abokan zamanmu ya a Najeriya wadanda kristoci ne sun shigo da giya din suna nema su halatta ta a cikin addinin su duk da yake addinin bai halatta ba da imani da aka ce za a yaki giya a Najeriya kristocin Najeriya ba za su taba da hadin kai ba saboda mafi yawa a daga cikin su mashayi giya ne Allah ya kyauta to kaga kenan mun hada akan gaba daya addini abin da addini yazo da shi hankali ya tabbatar ga shi yan majalisu duka sun hadu akan illa giya yanzu shi wannan jami'in dan sanda an zarge shi da shan giya duk da yake ba akan shi kadai ba domin an samu irin wannan kisan da yawa kuma in kado abin za ga ya fi kama da aikin yan kwaya yan maye da sauran su a shekaru kamar uku da suka gabata ina zaton za a yi shekara uku ga baya kam a uku ko hudu ma da za a yi shekara uku da nake ji wani abu ya faru a jihar Kano wanda a gabana aka inda wani jami'in dan sanda ya harbi wani matashi wanda ya dawo daga karatu da kasar India shi ma yana tuki makawancin wannan yanda wannan labarin ya faru shi ma haka ne ina da tanya ne mai tsaya ne ina dan nesa da wajen a kawai sai jin harbi akai muka yi ainihin wato an an yi harbi da bindiga mutane sun yi kokarin guduwa amma daga baya a haka yin ankare cewa ga gurin da abin ya faru kuma wani mutum ɗaya ne dan sanda ya harba dan danan aka ji aka ke wai gurin na ji a daidai lokacin na da suke gawar shi wannan mutum da aka harba wannan matashi ya kefa kansa akan su ta yarin motar jini yana zuba kamar ya gefe harbe shi ne a gefen wuya na'am a gefen wuya ya harbe shi ga alamar inda harsashi yahuda nan to abin bai kyau ba abin bai bai dadi ba haka akai ta chamayawa lokacin mutane sun yi kokarin a kashe wannan mutum wasu na kira da hadura taya ma a kone shi shi dan sandan Allah dai da kwanan sa a gaba aka kwace shi amma mutane sun fasata sosai to shi ma wannan kaga in ka duba abin ya fi kama da aikin yan kwaya ya fi kama da aikin yan kwaya irin wadannan labaran sana nan burcik inda zaka bibiya ya faru an samu wani jami'i da wanda ma ba jami'in ba ya sha kwaya yayi aika aika a kwanaki an samu wani abu da ya faru a ina da ta karamar hukumar liman gada ne ko a ina a ji shi ma dai a jihar Kano abun ya faru cewa wani ya sha kwaya ya dauki kakar sa ya jefa ta rijiya to subhanallah ya kamata hukuma ta ƙara tsanani akan giya da sauran kwaya bai kamata a ce hukumar NDLEA ta taƙaita akan kwaya kadai ba ga giya nan ita ma ya kamata a ce an dauki mataki akan safarar ta domin bannar da kwaya take ita ma giya ta nayi to ana za mu gane hikimar musulunci da Allah ya hana giya Allah ya hana mushin giya saboda giya za ta samu tin abinda ba shi kenan ba ba tare da ya sani ba mun taba shiri na musamman inda muka ba da labarin da jima wani mutum matashi ya je ya sha giya ya je kona mahaifiyarsa da ranta ya dinka zuwa aikin haji duk shekara sai an yi mafarki an ce an yafewa an ga an yafewa dukkan alhazai amma banda shi wannan mutum to kaga giya ba alkhairi bace ba giya sharri ce giya ita ce tushen sharri annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam yana cewa la yadkhul jannata mudminu bil khamr din mutum da ya dawo ma a shan giya ba zai shiga aljanna ba daga nan za ga da sirrin saboda din mutum da yake shan giya ba shi da lokacin sallah ta za a yi sallah ba a cikin haiyacin sa yake fade kenan din mutum da yake shan giya duk abin da zuciyarsa ta riya masa na banna zai aikata ni ko wanda ta haife shi idan ta gaya masa ƙarya sai ya zakke mata to kaga kenan giya gaba daya ta ci karo da hankali duk kayayyakin maye sun ci karo da hankali sun ci karo da dabi'a to saboda haka yana da matukar muhimmanci mutane su ji tsoron Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala musamman mahukunta ayi kokari ayi fada da giya da da daure mata gindi ana shigo da ita mota mota 
to dan haka ya kamata hukuma ta ji tsoron Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a yaki da wannan banna amma gama da shi wannan dan sanda wanda ya kashe wannan mata a halin da ake cikin zuwa jami'an yan sanda sun bayyana cewa yana tsara a hannun su sun ce basu gurfarar da shi a kotu bane saboda har yanzu ba a kore shi daga aikin dan sanda ba a hukumance kamar da muka sani duk sanda ka samu jami'i na yan sanda ko na soja yayi ta'addanci ko yayi laifi irin wannan ba a fara gurfarar da shi a kotu har sai an tuyi masa wannan kaki an kore shi sannan za a gabatar da shi a kotu kamar a dokar su ba za a gabatar da jami'in dan sanda da irin wannan laifin ba yana jami'i saboda a tsarkake hukuma dan daga laifin dan a tabbatar wa da duniya cewa wannan laifin da ya bashi da alaka da aikin kuma aikin ba zai taba al'amunta ya sassauci ya rangwame ko ya uzuri da cewa wannan mutumin a ji zanci ne yasa ya ba a karshe muna roƙon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala da ya kare mu daga fatuntunin zamani ya samu gama da duniya lafiya wa sallallahu wa baraka ala nabiyyina muhammad wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh